What's up YouTube, Awesome Yuga here, and today we're here with a box opening on Flash of Rebellion, and I actually will be doing uh, two right away, and then I have uh, two more for part two of this opening. So I have a total of four boxes, and I'll be opening uh, two up right now. So I will be going through these relatively quickly. Uh, I went to the sneak peek actually for this set, so uh, I, I've seen all the comments myself. Uh, I'll show off some, you know, the bit more interesting ones. Um, but I don't want these openings to be like 20 minutes, so uh, I will be going through these relatively quickly. And of course, uh, I, I kind of like this set. Um, I had to think about investing in this set uh, to begin with, but let me fix this because whatever. It's not symmetric. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Um, but there are uh, quite a bit cool arch types in this new set, and uh, I thought, yeah, whatever. I'll just, I'll just get these uh, ignite bursts. Uh, for example, the ignites. Uh, those are cool. Uh, I'm not saying they're good. They're a cool deck. <laughs> Let me just no need for those rares to be there. And of course, there are some good holographic cards in here. Um, the red eyes cards, which I'm uh, definitely looking to pull, and uh, of course the Cosmo definitely. Oh, <laughs> the uh, red eyes black flare dragon. So that's definitely that's a Gemini, I believe. Yeah, so that's definitely a cool pull. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, the Cosmo, which uh, seems to be going to be or seems to, it seemingly is going to be a good <laughs> uh, farm girl already a uh, relatively. Decently priced card, so definitely looking to pull that. And that's an uh, ultra, rare, of course. Uh, that, let's see, it's Arrow Mage Bergamot. Uh, and the uh, Arrow Mages, which just look really cool, in my opinion. Really cool art on those cards, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, extra Buck. I actually wouldn't mind pulling a couple of these, to be honest. I had the card of a sneak peek. Uh, Crystal Rose. Wavering Eye, I actually didn't pull that at sneak peek, which was extremely unfortunate. Uh, definitely put me behind like a landslide. I actually pulled a terrible uh, sneak peek deck in general. So I guess that's whatever. Uh, let's see, it is, this is the Escher, Escher the Force Vassal. And now we have, well, this actually, uh, Shen Sheng Magician. Nailed it. No one can tell me I pronounced that wrong. Absolutely nailed that. <laughs> I probably did it. Um, Shen Sheng Magician. I believe this is uh, for like what's going to be like Pendulum Magician, if I'm not mistaken. So two super rares already. Um, I think these aren't terrible super rares. But I might be wrong. I, I, at least I, I definitely, I'm definitely happy with this one. I'm not so sure about that one, but uh, like I said, if this actually for the Pendulum Edition, this might be a, a decent pull. And once again, this card looks cool as well, uh, with like the archery go on, on there. Uh, Cosmo Sly Rider, Slip Rider, Cosmo Slip Rider. So the Cosmo deck actually isn't. Um, that rarity bump, we have, uh, I believe you are going to need like the Farmer Girl, which is an ultra uh, three times. Uh, I believe there's a super as well, but that might actually be it. I think the rest is um, is rare or uh, common. So we got a Cosmo Town, the Field Spell, of course, which isn't secret, so that's always nice. There's basically been a secret in, uh, in the uh, uh, Cosmo Forerunner. And awesome, Cosmo Farm Girl. That's amazing. Um, I'm not going to say like I don't want dupes of this. Uh, if we get like six of this, I'll take it. Cosmo Farm Girl. And this is this is like a Lara Croft kind of chick riding on oh no, it. She's not riding on it, but there's like this metal hound or wolf thing behind her. 
Really cool art artwork. Now we got the Cosmo Forerunner as well. Uh, and I completely lost my train of thought, but I thought, I believe I was talking about like uh, how the uh, Cosmo Town could have been a secret with uh, the CCG rarity bombs we usually uh, do here. Uh, Ignite Champion. The Ignites look really cool as well, uh, by the way. At least I think so. And the uh, formal Trick Clown. The, you know, like the Trick Clown, uh, which was a good deck in the OCG. I don't believe we can actually make that a great deck. A Chicken Race, or Chicken Game. So I think this might be short print. I believe it's the first one I saw. Um, because of um, the Chicken Game, or not, goddamn. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Clown, clown Blade. Uh, there we go, Clown Blade. Um, because, of course, we uh, have Laval Chain Band now. Uh, let's see, DDD Oracle King Dark, and then the Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. So this actually, uh, I pulled it at the uh, at the sneak peek as well. Um, but this is another uh, not bad super rare, so that's kind of cool. Already liking this box, which I mean, after those Dragons of Legends boxes, I feel like I can get a break. Uh, Rome. Another one. So this is where I'll start to speed up because I think we've seen a lot of the common cards already. Uh, that's the rares as well, by the way. Oh, I see the secret. Toon Cyber Dragon, uh, which means the secret, I believe, is the um, the Mirror Force, which is a good card. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, Storming Mirror Force. Uh, awesome looking card. Uh, it looks like Mirror Force. <laughs> But um, uh, this actually compulsed the entire field, I believe. When an opponent must return all phase, yeah. Every monster in phase of attack position is returned to the hand. Uh, which I guess is kind of neat with the, uh, uh, whatchamacallem, the Kaju stuff or something. You know, that, that gives you all their monsters pretty much. So you give your opponents all your monsters and then you use throwing mirror force and you get your stuff back to your, to your hand. I'm not sure if that's actually where, what it's for. Um, <laughs> I mean, I see the synergy there. Uh, the DDD Marksman King Tell. So we got a, uh, a good super, or a good secret rare as well, which is nice. Uh, definitely, definitely want an ultimate of the uh, uh, Crystal Rose. Uh, Ignite Crusader, friend of mine is taking a look for this because He's going to build the uh, Ignite deck. I mean, he wants to build the Ignite deck. I'm not sure if he's actually going to because of the uh, the Ultra Rare, which is like 15 a piece, which is kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, I, he was planning on it. Uh, but I definitely want the Ultimate uh, Ignite Lancer. Uh, Red Eyes. The Red Eyes Metal Flare Dragon Ultimate looks sick. I've seen it all. I, I want it as a ghost as well, but that's more because I collect ghosts. Um, I actually don't really like the ghost artwork on it because of um, you can't really see it too much, honestly. Uh, there have been better ghost rares in which you can see the uh, the actual card art a bit better. Uh, but I definitely want the Ultimate Rare because that looks amazing. So we have six holographic cards so far. Um, should still be getting at least two. We don't have that many packs left. We have four packs left. So let's see what we can get. Uh, let's see, this is uh, Dragoon the Mad Flame Kaiju or something. Now we have a, uh, this is the other one, Xankie Magician. Sank, whatever. Uh, but this, I believe, is like the, the other one of the Pendulum uh, Magicians. So we have one, two, three, four, five super rares. I think we should still get an ultra rare. Or maybe an ultimate, uh, I'm not sure. Ultimate would be awesome. Nothing here. Two packs left.
Uh, we get another Ultra. So this is the high speed, high speed Roid Kandama. Uh, another uh, level six synchro, uh, which is generic. So that's that's cool uh, for the option, of course. That's not bad. So this was a uh, a decent box, definitely. Uh, definitely not bad. And yeah, there's nothing in here. All right, so box number two. I'll just leave this to the side. I kind of like the period in time in which you were guaranteed to get an ultimate rare because you're not guaranteed to get ultimate rares anymore. And personally, I love ultimate rares. I really do. Uh, the old ones are better, uh, but even the ultimates uh, like they make it now, I still like them. Uh, the old ones, of course, I'm talking about, uh, you know, Rise of Destiny when you were getting, uh, when there weren't any secret rares, so you were getting uh, an ultimate version of a rare card, which was amazing in my opinion. That's like way back in the day. Or at least for some. Let me just put this here. Uh, let's see, we have an Inferno Chera. So this is definitely a card I would, would have preferred to get in Ultimate. Because uh, I did want one. Uh, of course, I am uh, I am an owner of an Inferno deck. Uh, but that would definitely be a card I would like Ultimate. Uh, because, I mean, just imagine how this would look Ultimate. Must be a lot better in my opinion. Has to be. Huh. Um, not that I want an Ultimate now. Now I think I'll just upgrade it for an ultimate. I'm not trying to pull an ultimate off of that as well as pulling a uh, an ultra. Ignite champion. No, not champion. Is it champion? Yeah, it is champion. <laughs> Tune Cyber Dragon. Uh, as for deck profiles for these uh, new sets, I'm not sure whether or not I'll be able to do some um, and how fast. Ignite Lancer, for example, I, I did. I wanted to do like a clown bait deck profile, but um, of course it, it kind of died off with Lavalva Chain being banned, getting banned. Uh, but I still want to do something with like. Uh, Star Sour, Strap Tricks, Clown, whatever. I think you can still make a pretty decent uh, rank 4 spam deck, but... Uh, ah, damn, another Red Eyes uh, Black Flare Dragon, which is good. Like I said in the uh, earlier in this video, I wouldn't mind pulling a couple of those. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I think like the uh, the Clown deck with uh, Star Sarahs and Trap Tricks, it's still rank 4 spam deck, uh, could still be viable. Uh, but then I'd, I'm probably going to wait till Noden comes out, I'm not sure. Because, of course, with Noden, the deck would be a lot better. But then again, at the time Noden is coming out. Um, retaliating Seed, not bad. Ignite Burst. Uh, by the time... Excuse me. <coughs> Noden comes out. Uh, Instant Fusion might have been put to 1. Uh, and some other stuff might have been hit. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, Fluffle Mouse. <laughs> That's cute. like an hyena card uh, which you don't have to actually destroy by battle I believe uh, you can just special summon two more yeah main phase you can just special summon up to two other level mouse from your deck another ignite champion I've seen quite a bit of wavering eyes a bit too late for that Uh, the Xanshin Magician. So 
So I already got two dubs in the super rares. That's <laughs> a one box. I believe there are a lot more supers than that in this set. Uh, but I actually can't think of them on top of my head, so they might not be that relevant. I mean, I know the Lightning Archfiend, the Summon Skull looking guy. I uh, just wanna... <laughs> Speak about the Devil, uh, which is one I wanted to pull. Uh, just one, I think, actually, but... Uh, the Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. Oh, this is in Jiminy as well. Awesome looking dude. So yeah, that's cool. Speak about the Devil. Uh, let's see, this is... Kumongnus the Sticky String Kaju, Spider Guy. Uh, these Kajus look cool as well, by the way. Uh, really, uh, kind of remind me of like the Earth Bounce, in a way. Couple of packs left, we have... Four supers and an ultra so far. We get another ultra and ultimate, and definitely a secret rare. Uh, Cosmo Forerunner, and this is an ultimate, and this is the Ignesta Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer, which is a cool looking card. And I definitely wanted one of these. Uh, I believe this is actually going to be like uh, a staple in Pendulum Magicians as well, or at least it is in the OCG. Uh, but I'm Far from an expert on the OCG, I just see some some um, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro screenshot screenshots uh, coming through. So, <laughs> oh my God, another Cosmo Farm Girl. <laughs> this is so sick. This is so. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm going to make so much people jelly. That is fucking sick. And I still have two boxes. If I would be able to pull a full playset. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. Uh, but I do still want the secret rare. Because <laughs> now I got two ultras. And an ultimate. Uh, I hope that doesn't cost me my secret, honestly. So we still haven't pulled a secret. And we have like four packs left. Yeah, four. I mean, Farm Girl is probably more expensive than all these secrets, but now we, we're getting a secret. It's going to be secret. This is the Red Eyes. Yeah! <laughs> Not to buy it. Oh, this looks sick. I might just keep this for the secret. I kind of wanted the ulti before I saw this. Because uh, I, I don't believe I've seen this in real life yet. I saw the ulti, I saw the ghost. I'm not sure if I've seen the secret. But this looks sick, and I... Absolutely stunned I pulled that as well. So, uh, once again, this is an awesome box. I, we, uh, we have everything now, so we're not going to pull anything out of these last three packs. Oh, uh, we are. I'm sorry. We are. So, how many foils is that? Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Ogre Shooting Doji. It has to be at least nine. Or I've been counting completely wrong. That's a possibility as well. You never know. Uh, but the, these two boxes have been really, really good. Which I'm definitely happy about. So, alright. Uh, quick recap, let's see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 9 foils, which is good. So, uh, we pretty much got the ultimate as an extra. Which I ain't mad about. I'll take that. So, we got the... Chera, which was a bit of a disappointing ultra. Um, but then we did get an ultimate, which is awesome. Uh, this is actually a good card. It's not generic, you have to uh, use a pendulum. So you pretty much, you make it with the uh, Dragon Slayer guy, pretty much. Um, with this guy. Uh, which is an awesome guy. Uh, we did get one of the secrets I was kind of after. I kind of wanted this as an ultimate, but um, seeing this, uh, this it looks gorgeous. Uh, the only problem I have with the secrets right now is the reprints with the mega tins. Uh, uh, when you have an ultimate, you have uh, more like a, uh, let's say a reprint free um, card. Kind of, if that makes any sense. So that's why I kind of like ultimate, but this looks amazing. And then we got another farm girl, which we also got in the first box uh, with some other stuff, which is irrelevant when you're pulling. I mean, this, this is cool. 
<laughs> with some other stuff. So yeah, two amazing boxes. Uh, I have two more. I'm, I, 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 <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but I, I, right now seeing these two, I really would like to pull a third farm girl. I really, really would. But uh, yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching and uh, be on the lookout for the other two boxes of Clash of Rebellion. Awesome boxes, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.